Hello, it's Foxy Dilo, and I'm here doing Margaret Miller's Collage Weekly Planner Challenge. This is week nine, and the prompts are inspired by a fairy tale. I chose the wild swans, something that represents an event. I have this invitation. Uh, let's see, an architectural element. I have this little like manor house or some such thing. A dictionary page. I, of course, have the definition for swan. A key. I have some printed tissue paper. And the bonus, which I'm not going to do, is a postal stamp. So, I'm going to get started. So, the wild swans is about a princess with 11 brothers. It was written by Hans Christian Andersen. And let's see, he, the, um, the king of this land married an evil queen, of course after their mother died. She turned all the boys, all the princes, into swans. And then the princess, to save her brothers, had to make them like sweaters out of stinging nettles. Now, this is not stinging nettles, but th this is what I'm going to use to represent the stinging nettles. So, but the, but the whole thing was while she was making these, she had to stay silent and not make, not utter a sound. So that led to all kinds of trouble. Just gonna take this bit out of here. And I may wind up using the rest of these pieces in another collage. I'm gonna take some of these little swirls. Cause I mean, that's a house, so that's architectural. But also I think these little curly cues would be considered architectural like design. So I also have these that I might put around. On this little thing there. So, so she has to stay silent the entire time and the nettles, which, you know, they're stinging nettles, they blister her hands and people start thinking she's a crazy person or a witch because she's doing all these odd things. So they decide they're going to even though the prince likes her because she's a beauty, they decide they're going to burn her at the stake. And I think she does this. She, she like is making these sweaters for a few years or something. She's silent for a long time. I'm not sure how long, but um, I can't remember that much. But I thought I might put 11 swans on the page. So I went through and got all my, all my swan paper. Got this. I got this one too. So have a little variety. Let's see, I might take because this is like three repeating. I might just take three of those. I probably could have just covered up some of those. Yeah, I should have. Oh well, this might work. So that's six there. Seven, eight, nine. So then two of the, uh, these, are, these are a bit small for what I'm planning. A 
Let's do some background work. Okay. I don't have a real plan of how I want this to go, but I do know that I'm gonna put these little crowns on all the swans. Isn't that cute? Okay, whoop. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I know I'm gonna do that. So I guess I have some of these, they're like, they're washi tape, but they're, well, they're not really washi tape. They're plastic stickers, but they came on this roll and I've just been cutting the hearts off of them. Yeah, cute little princes. And I may have lost my princess. Where did she go? That's going to be a problem. I don't have other paper like that one. Okay, here she is. So, this is a little odd looking, I know. But she is, she's very selfless. Because like I said, she runs into all kinds of problems for her brothers. Let's do a background. Maybe. Oh, the paper's so dark. This has a bit of texture to it, so I'm not sure about it either, but I will tear some of this down just to try it out. there. Let's see. Okay. Let's try this again. have this little invitation this is supposed to be like at the end of the story she's on her way to be burned at the stake and she's knitting those sweaters as fast as she can she's on our last one as they're building it up around her And her, her brothers, the swans, come flying down. And she starts slapping those sweaters on them. And she gets, she gets all but the last sweater completely done. And the one, I guess, youngest brother comes back and he only... He has um, one of his arms as a wing because she didn't get the last sweater, the arm knitted into the sweater. 
then because she used so much energy and all this she of course faints as you do and the prince who was enamored with her but not enough to be able to save her from being burned I don't get it um, he puts a little white flower oh yeah the pyre like turns into a tree like a flowering tree and he he takes one of the flowers off of the tree and puts it on her and then she wakes up and yay they get married so this is the invitation to their wedding to their wedding so we will put this over here I believe and I've decided I do not want this I don't think I think it's too dark So I'm struggling a bit and I have these keys and I was thinking, well, let's we'll see, that one, I could do this as a background on this side because this is where, oh, yeah, so I'm taking this, this paper, tissue paper, open this up, I've had this forever and I haven't opened the packaging. Cause I, I throw away my packaging. I have way, I have entirely too much stuff to deal with the packaging too. So let's see. So since she is silented, I'm gonna put a key over her mouth. It'll also kind of tone down that those lips. So let's find a good key. Kind of like this one, but it might be too big, so I'm going to pull, get both of these little keys here. So it's definitely a story of a very selfless princess. I don't know if you need to be this selfless, though. That seems like a too like too much to go through for anybody, whether they're related to you or not. <laughs> uh, I guess you'll know if you were my brother, you would be a swan for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, something like that, or maybe just the cross or mouth like this. I'm not sure how well it'll show up, but that's that's what I'm thinking. Okay, just to just to get a background on this page, I think I'm gonna use this key paper because it matches nicely with this one. And I'm just gonna glue it down because the last time I tried to do over here, it didn't get it very they can get it very straight, so. Whoop. Oh, something was under there. A sun print kit. I thought that might be fun to try one day. But I did not know it had slipped its way into this planner. Oh yes, and if you hadn't joined me before now, this is a, an old 2019 planner that I didn't use, or I used very sparingly, <laughs> that I am, that I turned into my collage project journal. I went through and tore out some pages and so that I have the correct amount for each month. And I've been enjoying it because this way I don't have to feel guilty for not using it up <laughs> which you know I know you don't have to feel guilty but I definitely do it all 
I definitely do. Okay, so that worked. That's gonna work much better. Mm, let me see where my big scissors have gotten to. And the keys are definitely more symbolic in this story, in this fairy tale. Because it's her voice that's locked away. It's her voice and the other, and the, uh, the prince's humanity that's locked away. Though they are, they do come back to themselves at night. So she does get to see them occasionally. She didn't get to, she didn't get to talk to them, but I guess they get to talk to her. All right. So I can glue this down. Lost the glue that quickly. Well, hopefully I'll figure out something to cover up the edges. If not, I'll just be a little bit of white edges. Okay. That won't be the end of the world. Now, I'm going to put this on the second page, as I said, the end of the story where they get married. And I have this cute swan standing up right there. And this, I'm saying, is the house they come from. I'm gonna put the swans all over, so. I think I like these on that paper. Well, let's say I have my pink ones. Where did the pink ones go? Oh, they're upside down. Okay. Maybe just three of these here. I don't know if I like the repeating pattern. I want the the full bit. Make sure I'm still in frame. I'll also, see I'm low battery, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna just take off this one. Swan Maiden. In many ancient folk myths, a beautiful fairy maiden able to transform, transform herself into a swan by means of a magical robe, ring, or chain and living under an enchantment or taboo affecting her life with a human lover. 
Okay, well that doesn't, that's not this fairy tale. That's another fairy tale. Once upon a time. Might actually leave the little curls on there this time. Getting there. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need two more. So I have this guy who's already wearing, you know what, we will just, we won't act as if these are real, like that's not, I'm not adding like that's the real swan. <laughs> we will put this up here. It's part of the, the invitation. Have this big open space. What should we do there? Maybe this is where she will go. We need two more swans. I think I'm gonna see if I can get two of these. I just watch, watched Encanto. That was really good. But I keep humming the Isabella song <laughs> to myself. Try not to do it now. <laughs> I think it's gonna wind up being a little plain this go but I think I still like it like this and then I have these little wedding these little wedding stamps so thought I might use there was a yeah this white flower here might be the the flower that he puts on her Wake her back up. That that part just feels like they the writer wanted to make him part of the story <laughs> when really he didn't do a thing. He didn't do a thing. Kind of give the illusion of her having a head, <laughs> a head, a face. And let's crown, crown her as well, this tiny little crown. Maybe I should 
get a bigger crown somewhere. I don't know. I don't have a bigger crown that I know of. I think I still have to cut a few, cut a few crowns out. So I didn't, didn't cut out enough yet. This little watch could be nice. Because it took her a lot of time. Okay. And I have this little strip from the dictionary, which has a little, little gilded edge. So I think I'll just glue that right there. Not that I think the gilded edge will show very well, but I'm doing it. It'll cover up my edge mistake as well. I'll go ahead and glue them. Let me get a new, new page for gluing. I think I'm almost at the end of this journal, uh, magazine. Saying it like it's a scientific journal. It is not a scientific journal. Oh, I didn't, I didn't stick at all. Jeez. Definitely would have thought the stickers would have been sticky. I believe these are from Walmart. Though they are a few years old. So. Maybe that's why they didn't. They're not sticky anymore. I don't know. That seems like if you were going to use them in a scrapbook or something, you'd need them, be, need them to be stickier than that. And for longer. So, right, I added some glue. Should be good now. Little swans, little swan brothers. And this swan. I do find myself really enjoying these fairy tale ones. I did a a secret garden, which is not as it's not exactly a fairy tale, but it's, it's basically a fairy tale. Did a um, a journal with 
with that as its theme. And that was a lot of fun too. Let's see, I was gonna put that one kind of like that. Yeah, it's much better now that I put that right there. Really wish I had a bigger crown. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know where I would get a crown from. Look through some paper real quick. Don't think I'm gonna find one though. But I guess if I find one later, I can just stick it over. I do have this gold gold paper. Maybe I could cut a crown. Hmm. We will just go with the crown that I have on hand right now. Figure out what I'm gonna do with this one, this side. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. That is all of the princes. Just cutting these crowns out. It would be just like that king of the other country to use swan motif to marry her after, you know, her brothers have been swans for however long. Okay, let's see. Heart. Where's the other crown? Okay, here we go. Make sure all the princes are wearing their crowns. Very crooked. Okay, let's put that like that. Just find places for all these boys to go. I don't have any flying swans. This one can go there. Just 
And maybe this little guy is the one who has to live with a wing as an arm. I like it. Okay. Let's glue it all down. glue the invitation down. I went for a very minimal color scheme this time. Usually I'm um, very bright, very colorful. This is mostly black, brown, white, and pink. I'm not sure how much I like it. <laughs> I feel like it's still missing. Like the space doesn't seem to be used up when I've already used all my supplies. I need more supplies. More elements. I got the important ones down. I got the 11 swans and the princess. Important for the story, I mean. This, maybe this is the evil queen coming to live with them before they get turned into swans and silent princesses. Swans and sadness. I guess it ends with a happy ending if, she, you know, she wanted to marry the prince. I'm not sure after she got her voice back whether she got to make that decision or not. Okay, let's see what's not... Oh, 
I got these two. Hmm. Definitely needs something over here, but so does this. I don't know how see-through this is going to be at the end there. <sighs> that, I don't know. I'm not in love with this. Maybe if I add some more keys to this side, let's try it. That one on her mouth won't look quite so odd. Oh well, I'm going with this. I have no better ideas. You can see your lips at all if I do it the way I planned. Oh well. Maybe this is her locking her voice away. I don't know. Instead of unlocking it.
think I might just be done with this. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick these down and call it good. Don't know how you say that. Sweet. Size sizely? No, I don't think that's right. But maybe we will put that on here too, because it says it's a white flower. So we will just pretend, pretend, pretend that we found what type of flower the prince lays on her head or her face or wherever he lays it <laughs> seems I should have done more research before getting started Well, it's a bit of a mess. Let's see if we can keep adding to it. If, <laughs> if that'll help. There's a little sticker. See, most of these are just the wrong time. I don't know. Don't think they would wear the same things. Well, she definitely did all this out of love. So, a heart would make sense. And they would also have these at the wedding since they saved her life. spell out swan We could do wild swans because that would be would go along with the story.
Okay. I'll make that better, I think. I just still, this is a mess. This is a mess. I, I just, I should have found a, a face for her <laughs> instead of going with this. This that I did. But I am going to call it there. I hope you enjoyed it more than I did. There it is, my week nine, once upon a time, the wild swans. See, I got everything on there, fairy tale, an event, dictionary page, yeah, and keys, put those everywhere. I didn't use the bonus this time, that's okay. It, that's why it's a bonus. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my collage work, subscribe. I post every s Saturday with this challenge. And I'm working with a few more challenges as well. Like I said, this is a very minimal color scheme versus what I usually work with. So that might be why I'm not enjoying it as much, but we'll see. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.